scientists looking back in time at the oldest photons in the universe in the form of the light from the cosmic microwave background radiation believed they would find random temperature variations that would have no connection with the Earth or the Milky Way galaxy. But what they found is temperature variations in the form of spherical harmonic oscillations that seem to be relative to the movement of the Earth. These temperature variations are neatly separated in the northern and southern sky relative to the geometry of the elliptic plane of the solar system. Also, the cosmic microwave background radiation seems to be slightly warmer in the direction of the movement of the local group of galaxies that includes the Milky Way galaxy. This connection or alignment has been named the axis of evil because of the potential damage it could do to current Big Bang and standing cosmology theories. This all seems puzzling and is currently unexplained and may one day be explained as foreground interference. But if these temperature variations are not formed by foreground interference, they must represent new physics at the very largest scale of the universe. This video is going to explain how new physics could connect the very large with the very small within a universal process of energy exchange. At the most fundamental level we can think of this process of energy exchange as a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. The spherical harmonics oscillations that we see in the cosmic microwave background radiation represent this process relative to each part of the universe. Therefore each part of the universe can look back through space and time seeing their own past that is relative to their energy and momentum. This can be visualized using hyperbolic geometry with every point and every direction being relative to each other. We have here the hyperbolic plane that can represent the time dilation of Einstein's relativity. The smaller the pattern gets, the greater the contraction of space and time. It would take an infinite amount of energy to get to the edge of the plane, and this is represented by the infinite nature of the pattern. With a little visualization, you can imagine that whatever point represented you within the pattern would contract relative to your energy and momentum. An arc would expand relative to this energy and momentum, giving the impression that you are in the center, when in fact we can see that the edge of the plane is infinite. Any point in the pattern would see itself at the center. With the process that forms the pattern, the spherical harmonic oscillations relative to the energy and momentum of its own position. In this theory, hyperbolic geometry was formed by the two-dimensional surface of the spherical harmonics, with the inner concave surface representing negative charge and the outer convex surface forming positive charge. This forms a two-dimensional boundary condition with the future unfolding photon by photon with the movement of positive and negative charge and a continuous flow of electromagnetic fields. This process is formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of photon energy relative to the atoms of the periodic table. It is this process of energy exchange that forms the ever-changing world of our everyday life that we see and feel as a period of time. We have photon energy cascading down from the Sun forming greater degrees of freedom for entropy or disorganization 
with the built-in potential for ever greater symmetry formation that we see in the diversity of cell life. If we look back through space and time at the photons from the cosmic microwave background radiation, we see photons forming spherical harmonic oscillations with structure coming into existence relative to these spherical voids. We have spherical harmonics at the largest scale and at the smallest scale of the process we see and feel as the continuum of time. There is no concept of time at all in the subatomic world within the atoms. All we have is the distribution of charge into three parts representing three-dimensional space. This is because the continuum of time is formed by light waves interacting with the electron probability cloud that surrounds the atoms. In this theory, the atoms are standing waves in time, with the future unfolding photon by photon, with each new photon-electron coupling or dipole moment. The wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons is forming a blank canvas that we can interact with, forming the possible into the actual. If we agree with mainstream physics that before the atoms of hydrogen gas were formed there was only plasma, and the great difference between plasma and gas is that the emission spectrum for plasma is continuous. Gas has both emission and absorption lines due to the orbitals where electrons are restrained by the atoms. This is where the photon-electron interaction takes place relative to the atom. If this is true, the universe as a sphere of plasma would have existed before the process we call time started to unfold. Maybe it even existed for an eternity before time began. In such a theory, the universe would be spherical. It is possible to have an infinite universe within a finite sphere, as long as the sphere is continuously expanding. This can be visualized in fractal geometry, where we have infinite diversity on the border of a finite geometrical object. The unity of physics and mathematics is based on the dynamic geometry of this universal process that can be seen in the beauty of the night sky and in the diversity of cell life. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe. It will help the promotion of this theory.